good. It's good. It's good that we learn how to play uh, when we're down. We're not feeling good about ourselves. You know, when uh, we think things are not working. Like, this is where we get better. You know, and um, this is what's going to help us for the end. Oh, wow. Oh, this is like... What, what are we doing? The cameras are moving on their own? Over right here. Oh, you do it in the back? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, how you guys like my outfit? Oh, look good. Oh, yeah, I look good. Okay. Uh, All right, questions for Giannis? Getting old. <laughs> we'll Eric, Eric, name? Uh, I want to talk about Dante to start. Uh, career high in points, tied his career high in assists. Obviously, takes that huge charge at the end. Just what have you seen from him this year? And I guess what did you see from him tonight to, to allow him to do all those great things? I'm just going to keep it simple. Incredible. Period. No, I'm joking. Um, no, he was really good tonight. Um, he was calm. He was collective. He was getting to his spots. He was uh, making the right play. He was aggressive. He was going downhill. He was finding guys. Uh, he was unbelievable. He was guarding. Uh, he had that big charge at the end, and uh, we need this from Dante, man. And uh, he's a big part of who we are. Uh, we need him every single night. And uh, he had an unbelievable game. Uh, and uh, we were all very happy for him. He feels like the swing piece kind of on your team. Like, you know what you're going to get from you and from Chris and from Drew and Brooke every night. And Dante is, like, stepping into that new role. How have you seen him handle that? And did you, did you feel like at the start of the year like he was ready for, for this new role and to be that guy for you guys in the postseason? Oh, yeah, he's he's definitely ready. Uh, you know, if he wasn't ready, he wouldn't be in the starting lineup. He's definitely ready. Uh, obviously, uh, this is something new for him. He's going, he's going to be sometimes he's going to have good games and he's going to be, sometimes he's not going to have a good game. But, like, he's always ready. He's always going to get to his spots. He's always going to do the right thing. He's always going to play hard. And that's what we want from him. And, uh, you know, the postseason is very he's far ahead. You know, he got so much to learn. He got so much to get better. You know, obviously, having me, Chris, Drew, Brooke, uh, out there, uh, it's kind of hard for him to find his spots, right? But, like, when he gets going, like, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta guard him. Uh, he's a threat out there. And um, we need him to always be confident. We need him to always go downhill. We need him to shoot the ball whenever he's open and uh, to create for us because he takes, he takes attention out of everybody. Uh, but uh, until we get to the postseason, we got a long way to go. He got a lot to learn, and he's learning, and uh, he's going to be very good for us. Jim Ozarski. Yeah, sorry. Dante said as he was walking out there, he feels like you guys are, are learning how to win at this point. Would, would you agree with that assessment with what's happened, I guess, since that the five-game losing streak? I can't want to say necessarily we learned how to win. Um, we won the two previous season. You know, we won 60 games. We were on pace to win 70. So we kind of, we kind of know how to win. Obviously, it's a new group, and we got to figure out how to win with this, with this group. But... You know, we, we know how to win. We know what it takes to win. We know uh, how, how hard you got to go out there and uh, compete to win. Um, are there going to be bumps in the road? For sure. And uh, I kind of, as I said in the past, you know, this season is different. You know, new pieces, uh, being able to go in a five-game uh, losing streak and then uh, come out of it and now you're in a, in a four-game uh, winning streak. I don't remember the last time that happened. You know, it was uh, probably uh, three years ago with a different uh, uh, different coach, you know. So it's good. It's good. It's good that we learn how to play uh, when we're down, when we're not feeling good about ourselves, you know, when uh, we think things are not working. Like, this is where we get better, you know, and um, this is what's going to help us for the end. Along those lines, uh, when we've talked about end of game scenarios with you, it's it's usually been about on offense. Um, Brooks block, Dante's charge. End of game, you guys won with defensive stops. How important was that to to do and, and to have that happen tonight? Uh, it was big. It was big. You know, uh, Dante getting the charge. 
uh, which which uh, black blue guy? I don't remember. He uh, he blocked Zion at the rim, which oh, led yes, yes, your yes, yes, transition yes. dunk. Yeah, that, that was a big play too. That was a big play by Brook. Uh, and the, we, we in order for us to win games, sometimes we gotta get stops, you know. And um, we were able to do so tonight. And um, we gotta go watch the tapes and realize that sometimes, as I said, in order for us to win, we gotta get stops. We gotta do it together defensively. Rachel Nichols. Oh, Rachel hey, is here. What up, Rachel? Hello, Welcome how are you? Humble Milwaukee. It's a pleasure <laughs> to have you here. I wish I could be there in person, Yanis, more than you know. <laughs> I wanted to follow up on something you said about it's all about trying to get better so you are where you need to be in the end. You guys have been very open about the fact that this regular season, you want to try things out and improve your flexibility and the number of different kinds of things that you can do. How do you think now that we're almost at the halfway mark, how do you feel like that's going so far? It's going well. It's going well. We try new things uh, that we, we haven't done in the past. Uh, defensively, we're switching. Uh, we're playing zone after timeouts. Um, we're going big. Sometimes we're going small. Like, like it's good. Like, we, we're the team that adjust. You know, mm -hmm. and it's good to, uh, you know, have that habit that when things don't go the way you want to go, adjust, mm -hmm. find a different way. You know, mm -hmm. if that doesn't work, then find another way. You know, because I feel like in the previous uh, season that we played, we, like we had our own way and it worked. And then at the end, when it did not work, we didn't have like a, a plan B, plan C, plan D. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's good that we try stuff out. Obviously, um, it's not going to look great. Uh, sometimes it's going to be ugly. But at the end of the day, we, we learn it. You know, we are, we're being uncomfortable in order for us to be comfortable. And uh, we're going to create good habit. And hopefully, when it matters the most, we're, we're good to go. You're one of the most competitive people that we have in the league. How hard was it for you to realize that sometimes you have to sacrifice the short term, like the win this particular night, to win maybe in the long term down the road? Um, Obviously, when I go in uh, every night that I go to play a game, you know, I try to win every game. Uh, but right. uh, when the outcome is not the outcome I want, I'm not down. I'm not getting down like I used to. Like probably mm -hmm. last year, if we won, uh, last two in a row, three in a row, whatever the case might be, I was really hard on myself. Uh, I did not want to lose any game. But now, at the end of the day, you got to understand, you got to, there's a bigger picture. You know, and uh, I think, um, you know, I'm mature, I understand that now. Uh, and I say I just focus in, you know, the plan, you know, I focus in building good habits, focus on working on my game, helping my teammates, and um, so we can be good at the end. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, you're an old man now, so yeah. that maturity is appreciated. I'm getting old, man. 26, 26 and a half. Getting old. Thank you. Dora Stevenson. I know you use the term like good habits a lot. I'm wondering if you can kind of get specific with any habits you feel like are progressing and moving forward or any habits that need more attention individually or team-wise. Defensive. We got to have good habits. We got to scramble for one another. When our uh, defense breaks down, the next guy got to, you know, step up. You know, when uh, they're coming back, they're coming down with the ball, we got to show bodies. You know, the, the way we did with uh, Zion. Uh, when the ball goes up, we all got to sprint back and uh, rebound. When uh, they're coming down in transition, we all got to sprint back on defense. That's building good habits. You know, it, it's not going to happen. You got to make it happen. You know, you, uh, when somebody's wide open in the three-point line, you got to make sure the next guy run him off. Um, and then the next guy try to run him off. And then the next guy try to run him off. And that's building a good habit. On offense, you got to move the ball. You don't have a shot, drive the ball. Then uh, pass it. The next guy doesn't have a shot, drive the ball. Then pass it. Like, you know, set good screen. Roll hard. When the ball goes up, go for the offensive rebound. Guys from the corner sp spring back. That's building good habits. You know, and that's just a little bit of, you know, the, uh, the whole picture. But uh, as long as we do it together, as long as we understand that we need every single person 
to win a game from the last person to the first person uh, players and coaches we need every single person to win a game uh, that's building good habits one quick one uh, the zone how do you feel about it that you guys threw out tonight I uh, feel great uh, obviously I think um, what's his name Bled made the shot from uh, the corner when we played zone but at the end of the day you're not going to get uh, all the stops you want you know sometimes you're going to play zone and they're going to still make the three or make a shot but it feels good. I feel like you can slow down teams. Um, other teams do that to us. Uh, why would not do you know do it back to them? You know, try to slow them down, try to crowd the paint, uh, and try to make them shoot tough threes. It feels good. Look, it looked good. We got to keep working on it though. Hey, Devin. Hey, Giannis. Uh, I, I noticed after the game. Uh, you swapped jerseys with Zion. So first of all, I was just wondering why you did that or how that came about. And then secondly, in terms of guys that put pressure on the rim, pressure on the paint, I'm not sure if there's anyone that's really close to you, but he is kind of like that. He really attacks the rim. So what's it like defending a guy like that? Because that's what you're normally doing to, to other teams. I got I to gotta know how to defend uh, somebody like that. It doesn't take one person. You got, you got to show bodies. You know, um, what can I say? Like when he drives the ball, he's, he got such a quick second jump that you got to make sure you show body and box him out. <clears throat> because if he misses, he's going to go get the miss. It's somebody that, uh, you know, we've never seen. We've never seen anybody li like him. I have never seen nobody like him in the past. Uh, give me one second. And um, the reason I, you know, swap jerseys with him, I'm just collecting jerseys this year. <clears throat> I realize the, uh, there's a lot of value in jerseys. And, uh, you know, when I take a tech in the previous game, that's 2000. So now I got a jersey that I can sell in the future for a little bit more. So it, it's kind of even up. And if I don't sell it, you know, I can give it to my kids and they can sell it. Uh, no, I'm joking. No, I'm just collecting jersey. It's something that I do. Um, I think it's fun. All right, thanks, Giannis. Thank you, guys.